In this video, we're going to introduce Markov chains. Markov chains are a very powerful, and at least in my opinion, a very interesting application of linear algebra to probability. So what is a Markov chain? Well, you have some sort of system that can occupy finitely many states. And periodic the system randomly changes state. So the system is changing from one state to another at random with the qualification, and this is an important qualification, that the probabilities of moving between states are fixed. So if you have a state A and a state B, the probability of transitioning from A to B is fixed. As an example of Markov chains, a pretty famous example, let's look at a random walk. And I'm going to modify this example slightly from the one that's in the notes. The situation here is that we've got points on a line. Imagine that this represents a street, let's say, and someone is wandering up and down this street at random. And let's give two of these nodes special names, H and F. And the other nodes will just number one, two, and three. And the rules of the random walk are as follows. Two of these states, H and F, are special. I've said that we're imagining a man walking up and down this street but H and F represent places to sleep, the man's home or a friend's house. If the man reaches either H or F, he will stay there for the rest of the night. If the man is at any of these other nodes, though, he will do one of three things. He will move left, he will move right, or he will stay put, all with equal probability. And I mentioned that this is a little different from the written notes. The written notes don't include a stay put. This is a Markov chain. We've got finitely many states 
we're periodically switching between states. And our transition probabilities are fixed. So say that the man is in this state. What's the probability of transitioning into H, into 1, into 2, 3, or F? Well, I say that if the man reaches this state, he'll remain in this state. In other words, the probability of going from H to H is 100%. Well, the probability of going from H to 1, 2, 3, or F, those probabilities are zero. And what I meant when I said that the transition probabilities are fixed is that these probabilities never change. The probability of going from H to H is always 1. The probability of going from H to 3 is always 0. Now suppose the man is in state one. The man is here. According to what we have written, one of three things could happen. He could go left to H, he could stay put at one, or he could go right to two. Well, three possibilities, all equally likely, makes these transition probabilities one third. On the other hand, it's impossible to go from one to three. If we want to start here and wind up here, we first have to go from one to two, and then we can go from two to three. But the transition, but the probability of going from one directly to three is zero. And the probability of going from one directly to F is zero. And these transition probabilities are fixed. They're never changing. And it might get a little monotonous, but you could repeat this process for all of the possible transitions. We could look at the possible transitions if the man starts in location two. He'll either go left or stay put or go right with the Full probabilities. And I think that's probably enough for you to get the idea. So I won't write down all of the remaining transition probabilities. But this is an example of a Markov chain.